all that I am, or hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. How many legs does a dog have if you call his tail a leg? 4. Saying that a tail is a leg doesn't make it a leg. Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side, my greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. You can fool all the people some of the time, and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. No man has a good enough memory to be a successful liar. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. The philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. Be sure you put your feet in the right place, then stand firm. Most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I don't like that man. I must get to know him better. Character is like a tree and reputation like a shadow. The shadow is what we think of it, the tree is the real thing. Every man is said to have his peculiar ambition. Whether it be true or not, I can say, for one, that I have no other so great as that of being truly esteemed of my fellow men, by rendering myself worthy of their esteem. How far I shall succeed in gratifying this ambition is yet to be developed. I am a slow walker, but I never walk back. I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me all my life. I do the very best I know how, the very best I can, and I mean to keep on doing so until the end. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. When I do good I feel good, when I do bad I feel bad, and that's my religion. I will prepare and some day my chance will come. I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live by the light that I have. I must stand with anybody that stands right, and stand with him while he is right, and part with him when he goes wrong. It has been my experience that folks who have no vices have very few virtues. I have always found that mercy bears richer fruits than strict justice. I am a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The great point is to bring them the real facts. We the people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. My great concern is not whether you have failed, but whether you are content with your failure. Don't worry when you are not recognized, but strive to be worthy of recognition. Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? As I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master. This expresses my idea of democracy. You have to do your own growing no matter how tall your grandfather was. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves, and under the rule of a just God, cannot long retain it. I do not think much of a man who is not wiser today than he was yesterday. My dream is of a place and a time where America will once again be seen as the last best hope of earth. The shepherd drives the wolf from the sheep's throat, for which the sheep thanks the shepherd as his liberator, while the wolf denounces him for the same act as the destroyer of liberty. Plainly, the sheep and the wolf are not agreed upon a definition of liberty. I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man live so that his place will be proud of him. The probability that we may fail in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause we believe to be just. Labor is prior to, and independent of, capital. Capital is only the fruit of labor, and could never have existed if labor had not first existed. Labor is the superior of capital, and deserves much the higher consideration. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. Any people anywhere, being inclined and having the power, have the right to rise up, and shake off the existing government, and form a new one that suits them better. This is a most valuable, 
a most sacred right, a right, which we hope and believe, is to liberate the world. If there is anything that a man can do well, I say let him do it. Give him a chance.